Okay, guys, here we go. I said I'd redo the video. Gonna do it now. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and keep this a little more organized. I didn't get too many questions. Mind you, it's only been about 24 hours, but uh, I took some notes. Gonna make it a little more organized and help everybody here. So what I'm gonna do is start from the ground up. It's one of my farms. And uh, what I'm gonna do here is just show you how to start it. So I haven't done anything doomsday on this farm whatsoever right now. I better recall these guys actually. Get them home. So we can start to occupy plots. All right. So first thing you're gonna do, if you're fresh to doomsday, go in here, click your building. You're gonna find your Alliance Center one. Okay, so you can see here, everyone has started building and teleporting and taking plots over. So what we wanna do is, if you click on a plot to take, for example, this one, it's gonna bring up your doomsday stuff. So next, you got a free teleport, awesome. So you wanna move in somewhere, somewhere in, I don't know where I want to go, but I can move a little ways away so I'm not stuck in the middle of the, uh, you know, Alliance Center. Somebody's working that line, so I'm going to go somewhere else. Oh, man, these guys got everything going already. We'll get there. Okay, you know what, I'm going to go in here somewhere and uh, we'll figure it out. Okay, so here we are, little farm. So the next thing you're going to want to do, okay, follow the prompts, occupy a territory. So you'll notice when I occupy a territory, it's going to tell me my influence value is going to be 50 so you get 50 sort of points for that um, and the infection intensity is at zero so you won't lose any troops you can send any APC and it's going to just occupy it it's no problem now what you've got to do is uh, build what do we want build some buildings so in your in your uh, world map here what you want to do is click build, click honor, and start building these these uh, processing plants and the assault fortress, guardian fortress, virus research facility, all those things. So I'm going to start with this. Unfortunately, people that are in the center, they're going to end up losing their plot because you're you're coming in, right? that that's just happening there's no way around that really um okay so build all your all your things that you need for for level one that's level two three four we don't have that yet well maybe they do okay so the virus center this layout isn't really the best for defense but, but we're not uh we're not going to get too wild about it right now what you want to do is have these buildings around the center and these buildings around that after. So sort of like Jesse, she's got it right. And then you're going to want to have um, these virus buildings and these processing buildings more towards the outside. Okay. So once we got everything built, what do I got left here? Guardian Fortress. Try to get that a little closer to the center. And I think we got one more, the Assault Fortress. Or is that done? That's done. Okay, so we got all four. Perfect. So now what you're going to do is uh, start attacking plots. Where am I at here? So I'm going to want to move... I'm going to move outwards, so I'm going to go here, attack that plot, 
all these low level plots you're gonna win right away it's the the one two three four you're gonna need to upgrade your virus research in order to do them so, but we'll just work through this it's gonna be a little bit of a longer video but you're gonna see from the ground up how it all works so again it's green good to go I'm not gonna suffer any losses so my APC doesn't really matter All these plots that you're taking bring you, oh, I guess I gotta go over here first, territory, bring you um, resources, polluted resources. You can click harvest anytime and get them. Um, and you can see here by the plus sign, two out of 22. So I can occupy 22 territories right now. Um, the more you occupy, the more your honor will be. It's uh, just like that basically each plot is going to give you a certain amount of honor if I click on it come on now and click view this is going to give me uh, oh, sorry influence 50 influence if I go to this level 3 one it's going to give me 200 so on and so forth the higher the better the only way to get higher ones though is to upgrade your virus research facility so as we get some resources we can start to look at upgrading those. This looks like a line that's going for higher level plots, so I think we can go for this. Sorry, I didn't check. Okay, so no problem, no, no losses. So at the beginning, this is basically what you're doing. You're kind of building a line towards stuff that you want. This looks like a good little area that I'm going to work towards. So I'm going to start going that way as well. As you can see, your APC durability is going to be shot, especially at the beginning. As you get along, it's not going to be so bad. You're going to be taking less plots because you're going to be holding on to some of the higher level ones that you already have. So it's good. But at the beginning, it's, it's a lot of work, a lot of durability. Okay, I need another APC. <laughs> As soon as that guy gets back, boom, hit that one, and go. So now when I go into my Doomsday tab, I'm going to see I'm making a lot more. When I harvest, I'm getting a little more stuff. Let's go over here to the Honor tab. You have your Processing Plant 1. Um, I didn't build anything for Alliance Center 2, but it, once you do, you'll, you'll see two Processing Plants, two Virus Research Facilities. As long as you build those buildings, you'll have all that. So if we go into Production on the Processing Plant, we can take these and start production get out of here so what's going to happen is we're going to get food clean food and we're going to get uh, these virus samples here these are important without the virus samples you cannot upgrade your virus research facility as you see you need 700 um, in order to get that to level two which gives you another hundred infection immunity which will allow you to attack plots that are a little bit higher than what you've been doing so I can do a level three let me see if I find a level four around here probably not oh yeah there it is I'm gonna see the infection intensity is 200 my current immunity is only 101 so if I attack that 11.63 percent of my troops in each hero line each line in the APC are going to die. Or sorry, they're going to be poisoned. And they won't be allowed to fight anymore. They'll be gone. So every turn that your battle goes on, you're going to lose 11% of your main troops. That's very important. You need to not have your APC full of, you know, 200,000 troops because losing 11% is a lot and you don't need 200,000 troops. Um, I usually go in with about 10,000 per line, maybe 15,000, something like that. So if I'm going to attack that plot, I'm going to send a little less troops in. In fact, here's a level four right there. Let's go for it. Oh wait, that's not, not somebody else's line. I better leave that. 
Where can we go where there's a level four close by? I don't know. That's a shame. <laughs> it's a lot of searching, a lot of looking, guys. That's just it. But we'll keep going. Keep it going. It's it's good to use all vehicles in this because it's much faster. I don't know what I'm using in here. That's all vehicles. Ah, that's why. A little slower. Okay, no taken. All right, so... As you can see, this is how you're going to build a line. This is somebody's line. Basically, this is mine that I'm going to work towards. These white squares are another alliance. So that's uh, a farm alliance here that they're working with as well. Um, I cannot occupy this because it's not adjacent to any of our alliance squares or my own squares. So that isn't an option. Only what's beside you. Um, process buildings. So keep it going go into territory harvest go into your production building and just just keep this stuff going guys as much as you can the more you know at the beginning it's going to take a lot of time so while that's going let's talk about specialty as you get honor as you take territories over you're going to get honor points um these these are going to be used to to give you specialty points which you can use to update different skills i recommend going into the construction specialty and going over here to the processing speed the faster you can make materials the faster you can upgrade things i think that is probably the best way to go so i'm going to go ahead and do that now um, the only way to get those is like i say by attacking plots Let's go get this guy. So you'll see now, I've got 1580. I'm gonna hit this plot here in 30 seconds and we'll see how many more points I get. The other way is to use your honor points that you get from doing missions, from attacking the adjudicator, stuff like that. You can upgrade uh, that way as well. So let's see, 10 seconds. It's gonna be a long video guys, but I'm gonna try and make this one, make this one count. All right, 1680. So I got 100, 100 extra points from doing that level one plot there. What I'm gonna do is yank this guy out, put a little less troops in, okay? And make it go faster. But this is it, so you can see the durability goes pretty quick. I mean, I've used half of my class APC, nearly half of my second, and this guy I haven't really done much with yet. Let's throw some of these guys in here and speed things up. So this is something you can look at. When you're not gonna lose any troops, then it doesn't matter how much you send, you're gonna win anyways. Just like this so you're gonna see now my points they were at 1580 I'm now at 2040 so I'm moving up quick uh, I can use all of these and I will 1800 more points as soon as I get to level 2 I can come back in here I'll have another point and I can upgrade this I can learn this and get another 2% speed and another 20,000 processing let's go back to my oh, what am I doing back to my territory Let's harvest whatever I'm getting. I'm starting to get a little more things now. So I can go back to my processing. Harvest what I got. And add this more again. You can stop this at any time. I can stop this right now and uh, take whatever I've got, which is nothing. <laughs> Let's wait. So once there's one there, I can, I can stop this and take that now. Change it up and start something else or, or start it again if I need. Let's view the virus research facility. 
All right. So during wars, sometimes your troops will get poisoned. That's when you're attacking plots like I showed that have, um, you know, higher level uh, immunity than you are capable of doing. Where the heck am I now? There we go. Like this level three, for example. No. Level four. See, I can't get to any level four. See, the problem is when you're starting out, you're stuck in basically a little hole. But if I attack this one, like I said, I'm going to lose a few troops that are going to be poisoned. In order to fix that, go in here and you go to heal. Simple as that. They're going to heal up. You can speed it up with, with these serums. I don't know. I don't use them. I let them just uh, go like overnight. I always have more than enough troops anyways, so it's not a big deal typically. Um, so let me see if there's anything else I can go with here. So you got your process buildings, so upgrade those as much as possible. Upgrade your, your virus research facility as much as possible. So this one and where did I place the other guy? Right here. Upgrade this one as well as much as possible. You want to keep these going. You want to build your alliance center too. Um, the way to do that, let's see if we've got one. So you go into your alliance menu and click building. We don't have an alliance center too. I'm not an R4 in this alliance, so I can't, um, I can't add stone to it, but I can donate. So everyone's got to do this. Donate as much as you can. I'm going to put 5,200 in there and that'll help out. What happens then is an R4 can take this and click view on alliance center two, and they can click this plus sign and they can add those stones. Well, never mind. I guess I can do that. Maybe R3s can do it as well. Um, what happens is once that reaches 200,000, now we can build the Alliance Center 2. Everyone in this alliance gets to build another virus research lab, another uh, production facility, all those things. They get to build another one. So now you can upgrade those as well and get a higher level immunity. So you can start attacking larger level plots and all around you get a lot more um, a lot more uh, influence. All right. So donate as many stones as you can. Everybody got to do it. Looks like somebody having a little fight in the state chat. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me see. Where am I at here? So heal troops in the virus center. Level up. You level up. That's important. Um, your specialty skills, these are gonna these are gonna help you immensely. So make sure you level that up as much as you can. Um, territories, try to occupy as many as you can. Um, every time you occupy one, you're getting more points. So let's let's keep on going with that. I can hit let's hit this number three. Okay, we're gonna send ten thousand troops there. We're gonna hit this level one, screw it, take it. We're going to send just 4,700. The more you get, the better. You can always abandon these down the road. So it's not a big deal. Let's, let's try this one with 3,000. How many we got? 4,500? 4, 4,300 troops. You'll see because my virus immunity is high enough that I won't lose any troops to poison. This is, you don't need a whole lot of troops. You're going to use less fuel. You can spread your, your um, trucks around a little bit more and make things go faster. <clears throat> the more, the better. Keep going and going. Now let's go in and see what happens. So I don't need this. Let's say I don't need this. I need more space. Click it. Click abandon and click confirm. So you want to what you want to do is abandon all the low level plots that you don't need. So I can go into here, click here, and it shows I have all these level ones that probably will be the first to go. Uh, here I got some level ones and twos, level ones. As you start to get better plots, you're going to start to get rid of your lowest, least productive plots first. The rest keep. And only get rid of them as you need. Um, 
there's another way to get more and that I don't have that yet as we're going along here I haven't uh, let's see I probably have completed some tasks here we go so you'll get extra cues here let's add all these things up so you see I expand one uh, plan so I can get another plot with that this is from the ground up guys this is basically just starting out damn they're really going hard I'm gonna switch to the ally chat <laughs> hey Ben so keep it going keep it going let's get going see I lost no troops you can just send whatever we're gonna work towards these two level three plots here <clears throat> And uh, like I said now, okay, so we got 14 out of 22. Still not a need to abandon plots. I only did that to show you, but we can expand. So let's expand two more plots. Now you can see we can take up to 24 plots. So that's really going to help a lot. Production is done. Harvest that. And oh, we're going to need more. So let's harvest our territory. Now we're starting to get some stuff. If I keep clicking off on that. All right, so let's go back to our processing plant. What are we going to do? Let's put some of these in. Let's get some more. The sooner we can get that virus research facility up to level two, we're going to be allowed to take a little bit higher plots without having to worry about losing troops. It's not a big deal if you're going to lose some troops, but I wouldn't do it with uh, less than, I would say, you know, 25%. 20, if, if 20, anything over 25%. Um, where can I find one? To show you an example. Anything that's over 25%, I wouldn't attack it. So this level 4. Okay, so 11.63. I would attack that. I would send probably 3,000 troops in each line. Maybe 4,000. And I would send it and go for that. You'll probably end up getting it. And you won't lose a lot of troops because... You're losing 11% of each, but you've only sent 3,000 in each line, so you're not going to lose. You're going you're gonna to lose 3,300 in each line. It's not that bad. But if I just like go wild towards the center here, all right. If I wanted to attack this, I'm going to lose 18%. You know what? I could do that too, and I probably would. But a level six, it's going to be 40%. You're guaranteed you're going to lose that. There's no point in even trying. 18% um, you could probably do safely, but these other ones, 40% uh, don't do that. You're just going to end up losing. Um, what else I got here? So the main thing, keep this plant going all the time. I like to set it up to go while I'm in bed. I wake up, have a shit ton of uh, you know resources and materials, and you can use those to start upgrading. Um, and just occupy, build a line and just go. It's a lot of work at first, guys, but eventually it's going to taper off and you can relax a little bit. It won't be so bad. But it is time consuming. I understand. It's uh, it's a struggle too between cause and this yeah. and uh, trying to get everything done. So again, a little quick recap. Build the ally center you get a free port to go around there so you can attack plots much faster you don't have to do it but it's much easier uh, and quicker um, build your buildings okay so build these buildings where are we at build these buildings around your alliance center try to do these ones closer to the alliance center and you're processing in virus labs a little bit on the outside of the ring um, these these uh, buildings take up the most um, durability to try and uh, attack. So this is in defense for your alliance center. Um, so build those. Basically then start taking plots. Take as many plots as you can. Try not to take somebody else's line. Like for example, I can see people here. This guy's working towards stuff. I'm not going to come here and just take this on him because he put all the work into it. That's not fair. That's going to cause people to get upset. Now, let's say I want to go for this level four. 
I find out who owns this and I go and ask him, hey, do you mind if I work off your line? He may say, yeah, go ahead. He may say no, or he may say, hey, come off over here and start here. So you can make your own branch and, and branch out. Guys, work together, you have to. You, if you start taking other people's stuff, you're gonna have so many problems and so many fights, it's just not worth it, guys. We all on the same team here, so let's work together. Okay, um, like I say, process building upgrades, so upgrade all those buildings. The only way to do it is just keep these going. Keep harvesting, uh, keep your production going, just keep it churning away all the time, as much as you can. It, it takes a while to get going, but once you get going, it's going to be much faster. Um, heal your troops, heal them all the time. A little bit by little bit. Also, uh, you know, overnight it's a good thing to hit your heel and go to bed. You wake up, your troops are healed. Um, you wake up, your production is done because you got, you know, this thing going all night. You wake up and everything's like ready to rock. You can start upgrading things first thing when you wake up. Um, these, keep it going, level it up. I got a whole bunch of honor here. Let's see if we can, you know, get to uh, the next level. And we did. So now I'm gonna go back in here. I'm gonna take this, boom. Now I'm gonna start producing things a little faster and have more time to, uh, or sorry, more um, slots available. More, sorry, not slots, but more um, queue available in here. I can add more. I don't have enough resources yet because we just started. Um, what you wanna do though is go into here. I like to go this way because I wanna get to this. I want to add another processing queue so I can add two different types of materials and have things going much faster. Um, some people may want to go here so you can build another, uh, you know, better virus immunity and, and eventually build another virus lab, I believe. Seems like this is missing something. But anyways, um, I, I prefer to go this way. That's my preference. You can have a look at these and see what you think is uh, your preference. But um, for right now, to get going, I think this is the way to go. Um, so refine, refine, refine. Keep those things going. Occupy as many territories as you can. And donate so many stones. Guys, the more you donate, the better keep it going um, with those donations I'm gonna show you we can see everyone can see when you go into season you can see Alliance Intel on the bottom left and we can see who's doing the donating look I, I just started you guys seen it and I'm already over here because I've donated 5890 stones that gave me 589 um, contribution points this guy's donated 13,000. So he's sitting up in the top of the of the um, alliance right now. Uh, guys, we gotta donate, man. Everyone's gotta donate and donate a lot. It's the only way to go. The more you donate, the better you guys are gonna be as a whole. Um, and I think that's really it. I mean, that, that gets you going, really. Um, there's huge rewards, guys. Uh, you want to get these. Like, these are guaranteed. One warrior recruitment. I've never seen these ones yet. But um, as you get to higher levels, you can... Um, let's go to them. You get much better rewards. You guys can uh, get guaranteed Season 1 heroes, Orange heroes, tons of resources. It's crazy. So... You really got to work hard as a team. The better alliance is going to get awesome rewards. Right here. So elite recruitment tickets. The leader reward is going to get four of these in the alliance. And you can get guaranteed heroes. Guys, that's massive. You know how hard it is to get orange heroes. So let's, you know, put that, put that out there. That the better you do as an alliance the better you are going to get these. The leader gets those. You got nine people that are going to get these. And you got the other 90 that are going to get, still going to get free heroes, guys. 
So this is a game changer. So work hard, work as a team, communicate as best you can, um, help each other out, and take as many plots as you can, guys. You're, you're gonna you're gonna succeed big time. The better understanding you have, the better it's gonna go. Any questions, guys? Like I always say, shoot me a mail on my main account if you like. Let's go over here. This guy can stay 340. Shoot me mail there or uh, send me a comment on this and uh, we can we can figure it out. I'll, actually, I'll just show you real quick before we get off. Lagging. Um, processing plant. So I got this thing going. It's churning away, you know, for the next day and 11 hours if I want. I can stop it right now, pick something else and say I want some composite materials and just let that go now. It doesn't matter. And it's going to move quick. Um, and you can see these are leveled up. Level 5, level 4, level 5, level 3. Um, specialty, same thing. As you can see, I'm working over this way. I don't have any any extra points right now. Uh, not enough. But as you can see, so this is what you're working towards right now, right? Territories. Uh, I'm going to add some more and I'm going to start taking some more. Just haven't had the time right now. Um, Alliance Intel. We can see who's doing the work. I got my second account that I was doing as the test account, donating a ton of stones. This guy's getting there. <laughs> this guy can. So you can see everyone. A lot of these guys got it figured out, but there's there's still some that are still learning. You know, we got guys down here that are just kind of starting out. So I hope everyone can see this and and get working on it and uh, succeed. Any questions, mail me, comments, whatever, and let's, uh, let's kick some butt in uh, State 340, you guys.